Hey dudes and girls, phase three, day four, the final day of our upper lower body split. We're gonna be doing upper body once again. We've got a whole bunch of good ones for you, so we hope you're ready because it's time to get buff. Yeah. So first exercise, we're gonna be starting with some back and we're gonna be doing the high row to low row and you're gonna be seeing us do it on an incline bench now. If you don't have a bench, that's okay. You can still do a bent over row and do the exact same movement, but of course a bench is gonna help stabilize you and make the form a little bit more difficult and strict. And as you can see, we have the incline bench here. It's about a 45 degree angle or so and you want to focus on keeping your sternum nice and tight on the bench grasp the dumbbells and the first movement is going to be rowing high just like so and then you're going to be rotating your palms together in low row on the body so the dumbbells are pretty much going to be aiming towards your shoulders on the first row and then more towards the hips on the second so from high to low now you'll notice on this exercise when you go to the high row it's going to be quite a bit more difficult than the low row because the high row is not engaging the lats as much as the low row working more a little bit on the upper back area so you'll notice kind of the difference there and that's what happens whenever you kind of change the angle of an exercise you would kind of focusing a little bit on different muscles and that's exactly why we've included this exercise so we have floor press next and we've covered this in the past we've had it in the program and that's why we're continuing to use it because it's just a damn good exercise and what you're gonna be doing is laying on the floor grabbing the dumbbells and pressing them to the top position but of course in the floor press the range of motion is going to be quite a bit uh, smaller than a typical bench press where your elbows go below your body and then you're pressing up from the stretch position you're more focusing on that top and peak contraction uh, but you're also really focusing on the eccentric contraction bringing the weight down so that way you don't bash the back your arms on the floor so it's really going to help you control that weight and that motion it makes it a little bit more difficult and what's nice too about doing it on the floor you feel very stable because you have the whole floor to press against which is really nice oh that's a good one it's almost like the box squat for the chest shorter range of motion but you touch that floor keep the tension in the chest and then explosively press the top position yeah So we have the dumbbell snatch. So what you want to do in this exercise is you're going to be starting with a pretty wide stance. You can tell my stance is outside shoulder. This is going to allow you to squat in the position because you're starting with the dumbbell on the ground. And as you can see, I need to get low enough where I can grasp the dumbbell with one arm and you're going to be explosively pressing upwards with your legs, extending in the hips. And this is going to create the momentum and then you're also going to shrug the weight up to make sure that dumbbell kind of glides along the body and you're going to be catching it at the top position. So instead of doing a clean like we've done in the past, the dumbbell cleans to press here to here. We're kind of cutting out the clean portion and going all the way up into that top position here. So to see it in motion, starting position, boom, just like so, bring it back down. Here we go. And you can tell at the top position, I'm slightly dipping down to catch that weight and then pressing up to that full top position here. So of course, working along the delts, the traps, but also a lot of legs too. So although this is upper body day, your legs still get a little love, which is probably good anyways, because legs are always, you know, something that you really want to try to develop and make sure they're strong, especially the hip section too. Now, if you pay attention, where the dumbbell is going. Try not to pull the dumbbell far away from you. Try to keep it nice and tight to the body. And that's going to make sure you're not wasting any energy. It's kind of pulling out. You're gonna to have to kind of, it's gonna be in the wrong position when you try to catch it, throw you off. So really try to keep it tight to the body, boom. Then you'll feel nice and supported and stable at that top position. Whew. Ooh. 
Next up, we have Around the World's The Chess Version. Now, this is a pretty unique exercise. Not everyone knows about it or uh, knows that it exists or even what it does. Essentially, you're kind of uh, making a half spherical motion with your arms in the uh, supine position. So once you get down on a bench, uh, you're gonna be grabbing some very light dumbbells because this is definitely not an exercise you wanna go heavy with. Um, and once you're down in this position, you're gonna be starting with your hands just about that hip area or even slightly mid-thigh depending on how long your arms are and you can have a slight bend in your elbows and you're going to be kind of bring your arms all the way up above your head and making sure they stay right horizontal with the floor going nice and slow and you're going to immediately feel that chest have to engage to control that weight and that motion there and what you really want to focus on too is keep your shoulders back and depressed and that's really going to help you concentrate on that chest but as you can tell it's a very nice and slow motion um, oh man and it definitely burns Whew. i like to go in down in this position once you kind of bring it down you kind of take that chest and really squeeze it together at this bottom position You're really going to help activate the chest even more so Ooh. Oh yeah, dang, it burns. At that top position, you really feel a nice stretch in that chest. And once you bring it down again, really kind of squeeze that chest together and you can feel it engage immediately once you're in that position and keep that time and retention throughout the full duration of the exercise. And yeah, meat shield, baby. Well, hello there. Side planks, it's gonna be 60 seconds each side and we're gonna be doing three sets of that. And this is kind of a, it's a test of patience and a test of will because the longer you do this, you're gonna feel a lot more activation in your obliques. It's gonna get stronger and stronger as those seconds tick by and soon it's gonna feel like you're being drugged through the fires of, of fitness. I was trying to think of something cooler but nothing really came to my mind. There we go. Side planks are finished. I gotta be completely honest. This workout was a little hard to get through and you're gonna find yourself in that same position from time to time. So I'm glad I have Brandon here to help me push it through. But that's the important thing is the consistency. We get so many people who decided to give it up, then they gotta pick back up where they started off months ago and they wish they would've just stuck with it. So in these kind of strange and difficult times, you just gotta stick with the routine. You gotta keep the consistency and you gotta push through. That's what makes a dude a buff dude. See you next time. Stay safe, stay buff. Yeah.